thank you for watching this video. I want to warn you because this is not a controversial video because everything I say here is going to be proven. I hereby call Lewis Hamilton the greatest athlete of all time, period. Not the greatest Formula One driver, the greatest athlete of all time, and here's why. Born in 1985, January 7, 1985, Lewis Hamilton became, at five years of age, the national champion. From that point, his dad realized that not only was he talented with remote control cars, this guy was just supreme with the hand-eye coordination. His dad, with all his savings, working four jobs, bought Lewis Hamilton a used go-kart. With the land they had, he said always, when they arrived, they were looked at, he felt like they were the cool running family, the Jamaican bobsledge team. They were not welcome at all. But his dad always calmed him down by saying, Lewis, let your driving do the talking. And he did exactly that. Having met Ron Dennis and asked for his number because he believed he could race for McLaren, Ron Dennis told him to call him at the age of 18. At the age of 13, Ron Dennis came back and said, I'm going to sign you, and he did sign him to a Formula One team. He became the youngest and the only black person to date to be a signed Formula One driver. 2007, first race, Lewis Hamilton scored the podium. He was third. Race after race, he was third or second. The Canadian Grand Prix came, Lewis Hamilton won the Canadian Grand Prix. For many that were non-believers, they call it luck of the draw. Yes, it's luck of the draw. Well, Lewis Hamilton proved them wrong by winning the next race, which is the US Grand Prix. By that, Lewis Hamilton at the time, in his rookie year, was now leading the world champion championship. Leading it. Absolutely stunning. Lewis Hamilton, we know, went on to lose the championship by one point to Kimi Raikkonen, which I believe part of the chapters that I love to read about the book that I talked about in a previous video would be in Lewis Hamilton's relationship with Ron Dennis. I absolutely believe that Ron Dennis or McLaren were not keen to having Lewis Hamilton win the championship in 2007. That's my opinion. Well, it is what Lewis Hamilton has done from his, his humble upbringing, like no other before in the history of Formula One. The way he carries himself, the way he speaks, the way he shows concern and care about everything for the benefit of mankind all across, that makes Lewis Hamilton really, really special. Now, some say, well, you know, in the U.S., people don't know much about Formula One. Saying Formula One isn't really a sport. And I always said, well, guess what? You admire the, the Elon Musk astronauts that are, may go up to three Gs. A Formula One car at Spa Francorchamps would go up to eight Gs. Eight times your body weight. Formula One is a supreme sport. Another person describes it as if it's like going 200 miles an hour and playing chess. It requires intensely superior attention to detail and focus to be a, a great driver. We know that Lewis Hamilton's skill was tuned early in his racing when his dad used to tell him to break, he would measure the latest breaker and tell him to break after that point. So Lewis acquires the talent to hard break and turn with the car under control. I know how challenging it is because I wrecked few cars <laughs> driving as such. Lewis Hamilton going back and realizing that what he has is unique and it's not been done ever in the history of mankind that founded his charitable organization, charitable foundation, Mission 44, that is now helping the underserved community that he came from that makes him even more special. That's why I wore this shirt today. Math has no opinion. If you disagree with me, you don't believe I've proven that Lewis Hamilton is the greatest athlete because no other sport prior to Lewis has been unconquered by many multiple times by minority groups. In 
Formula One. It's the only sport to this day. There's only been one black person to ever been signed, and not only been became the greatest ever by winning seven titles officially and eight titles unofficial. For that reason, I back it by math having no opinion that Lewis Hamilton is the greatest athlete of all time. If you disagree, I welcome your supporting statement that Lewis isn't. I believe he's the greatest athlete of all time. Always welcome your opinion always been appreciative of you watching my video thank you so much may god bless you